Now we're going to learn how to specify a column or a row or an intersection of a column and row and get out the data you want from your data records in R. So I've previously imported data into an object that I called grades. So let's take a look at it. It's only got four columns and five rows. Now let's say I want to access the object and I really just want to get everybody's name out. So I could type grades and then use the special character with the dollar sign and then type the column name, student name. And if I hit enter, it's going to show me all the data in that column. Now, another way to access the exact same data is to do grades and then do my brackets and then do comma two. Now the reason that works is because when you use the bracket notation, the first number is the row. So let me pick row number three and let me pick column number two. The first number is the row and the second number is the column. So now I've specified third row, second column, and it should spit out the name Benit. And I did. If I only want to specify a row, then I can put something in, let's say, the first row. But I need to put the comma, and then I can just leave the column blank. And that's why the opposite works as well. If I wanted to specify a column, I can leave the row blank, put the comma in, and then specify the column. In that case, homework average. If I'd like to get a few rows or a few columns all in one shot, the way I do that is the following. I go grades. Let's say we want to get rows one through three. So I go grades one colon three comma. Similarly, I can get, I can specify columns three and four. 